Hey guys, Daniel Kazinas here. In this video, I'll show you how I make this two stroke little drift trike out of scraps and bits and pieces I've got lying around. So, we got the parts out of the dumpster. This is my chicken here. Her name's Mia. Okay, so I've just assembled some parts and got them lying out here. Got the front of a lawnmower. I've got the wheels off it. I've got the bearings. And I've got this motor here, which is a 210cc paramotor motor, which I had running on a long tail setup. And I made this expansion chamber for it. So it's tuned to about 6,000 revs. I've got a Sid Trotical clutch for this motor, and I can gear it down twice once with a belt and once with a chain and sprocket this one here so i should end up with a good gear ratio and hopefully i can do some skids and drifts with this thing on the grass and on the dirt Well guys, I got this back in the shed now. As you see, I cut the handlebars down. It looks pretty low, but it'll be comfy when I'm riding it. And I'm just starting to mock up the motor. I've just got this bit of copper pipe here sitting to pretend to be the axle so I can make sure everything's gonna clear. So I've got to have this reduction to the belt and then I'll have another sprocket and chain for the final drive. So I've got to try and start mounting this engine and I'll make the axle up at work tomorrow, hopefully. Okay, so made a step on there so I can put the sprocket on and cut this plate out so I can, this is to mount the other side of the uh, pulley, the belt drive pulley. They can slide back and forth, so I might clean that up a little bit. So that axle is now mounted up with a sprocket on it. I've uh, put the bearing on here. I've slotted these holes so I can adjust it. And that part's going to sit around there somewhere. I just hammered a socket into here, threw that into the pipe, and I've just tacked it. I weld this off with a TIG and I need to make a brace that holds this bearing holder right there. Mount the engine, then tom for some foot pegs and that'll be pretty much it for the chassis. Okay, so I've got the uh, front foot pegs mounted up there and all those other bits welded off. I made the seat out of another failed project. This was the box off my motorized surfboard. Look, look at it! The craft oh. Which uh, is now reincarnated into a seat. I've shortened this chain to fit on, but by the time that this is tight, this is not tight, so I might move the axle back and weld it so the chain's tight and that way I can adjust it a little bit more in the future. So I shifted that back a bit, got the chain tight. 
I've got the pipe on now, I've got the fuel tank on. This is how much pipe I have to have, and I have to have the muffler because it is ridiculously loud. So I'm going to have to somehow I'll loop that back and forth to fit in the back there. But should we start it up and have a go? So this motor is also super high compression. It's got a decompression button here that you click just so you can crank it over. So hopefully it will start. Oh man, it's flooding. Wow, that was quick. Well, as you can see guys it runs pretty good and you can hear it, it's powerful it's uh, I think they're about 19 horsepower especially with an expansion chamber on them so it's going to be a bit overpowered and um, see it vibrated itself off the stands everything's just sort of sitting together so next video it'll be all getting welded off and hopefully a test ride will be going down one last thing guys I've got to make this expansion chamber fit in this buggy somehow and, and the exhaust i mean this is the right length that's calculated out for it to be right so this has all got to fit in there somewhere so any advice on where i should put it leave in the comments i'm thinking perhaps i could run it down this way back around and up or something either that or i'm going to have to zigzag it along the back and back out let me know what you think in the comments also i'll leave a link to the expansion chamber calculator which gives you all of these links of the cones and bits and pieces so you can make your own one if you want so see you next time guys thanks for watching